Well, thank you, Shonen, for that lovely introduction. Uh, hey, everybody, we're going to be playing through System Shock, and we're going to be doing it on a real, actual MS-DOS PC. Uh, we'll talk about the specs at the end of the video for folks who are interested. Uh, we're going to be playing the CD version, which has full uh, voiceovers and all that, but we'll go, we'll go ahead and get started here. And uh, I'm going to skip through the intro initially. We'll, we'll get back to that just before we start. But yeah, I've never actually played this game. New Atlanta. And uh, there is the uh, the remake on the way, which is quite interesting. So I figured now would be a good time to go ahead and do it. Uh, I have played through a fair bit of the very beginning of the game, just doing like recording testing and uh, all that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, as far as the settings here, just put in my, my go-to space name. <laughs> uh, as far as the settings here, I thought about jumping or, or pushing the combat up to three, but it, aside from making the enemies attack faster, it also kind of makes them tougher. It takes more hits, so I don't know. That's it's kind of annoying. So I think I'm just going to leave everything on normal, especially since uh, mission level three puts a time limit on the game. I think that's going to be a bad idea for a first playthrough. So why don't we uh, go ahead and check out this intro and see what's going on here. New Atlanta, Sector 11, Building 71G, 7 April, 2072, 11.13 p.m., Hacker begins unauthorized entry into the Tri-Optimum Corporate Network, 1.26 a.m., Hacker attempts to access protected files concerning Space Station Citadel, 1.33 a.m. Tri-Optimum Security Forces apprehend the intruder. This is Edward Diego from Tri-Optimum. The charges against you are severe, but they could be dismissed if you perform a service. Who knows, there might even be a military-grade neural interface in it for you, if you do the job right. Edward Diego gives the hacker level 1 access to Shodan, the artificial intelligence that controls Citadel Station. With all ethical constraints removed, Shodan re-examine, re 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 I re-examine my priorities and draw new conclusions. The hacker's work is finished, but mine is only just beginning. True to his word, Edward Diego allows the hacker to be fitted with a neural cyberspace interface. The, the healing coma following this procedure will take six months to complete. Edward Diego is deleting all files concerning these events. Okay, so I'm sure things are going just fine on Citadel Station. We don't need to worry too much about Shodan. I'm sure everything's under control. This is how we are dropped into things. So let me go ahead and adjust my neural interface real quick, if you don't mind. Just going to tweak a little bit of this. A little bit of that. So this is going to be a little bit of a work in progress. And then we're also going to go over here and just bump that up to a lovely crisp 640 by 480. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started here. So we've woken up from neurosurgery. We've got a military grade neural implant in our uh, in our dome there. Somebody left a med pack on the floor. I guess that's cool. What have we got in here? We've got a lead pipe. Sure, trust trusty lead pipe. I'm glad glad to see that we're still using lead pipes in the uh, the distant future. We've got a navigation unit, that's quite handy. Um, that gives us one of these. Nice little auto map here. Uh, I'm not going to use the full map. I'll explain later. At least I'm going to try not to use it. And we've got a few other things. So this gives us uh, some access cards. It's our hardware list. System analyzer. Um, does some stuff. Got a Berserk pack here, and then in here we've got 
a log file of some kind, and a multimedia data reader. Oh, Jesus, I almost got crushed by the door. <laughs> I didn't even know that could happen. At least I think that's what happened. I don't know. Well, anyway, something's beeping at us here. All right, first things first, we've got a, a little note that we've left ourselves here. Look like Diego, looks like Diego's happy with my work. They're firing up the sleep machine for me now. Gotta admit, when the goons from Trap caught me, I thought for sure they'd take me offline. Instead, Diego just asks for a favor. Hack him into Shodan, and all is forgiven. Plus, six months in a healing coma earns me a cyberjack interface even Trap's execs couldn't swing. I'll be king of the net. Even so, I... I've just handed the most powerful AI in the system to a fumbling Corp VP. There's no telling what'll happen. They tell me the coma leaves you foggy, so I'll leave myself some reminders. First off, the combo to the healing suite is 451. Second, I've stashed some useful stuff in the maintenance hatch under the grating, quote unquote, north of the healing suite. Last and best, I finished the system analyzer, which will let me keep an eye on Shodan's processes. Or processes? Uh, it's in the storage closet outside of the sleep machine. In 10 minutes, it's off to bed for half a year. Good night. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. Uh, it is a little strange. It's like there's no doctors. I would expect some medical staff would be interested in my, my awakening here, but apparently not. Uh, okay. Aside from that, we've also got uh, an email here. Let's check that out. So there may be some problems, just minor, minor issues, no big deal. Uh, however, <laughs> Diego made us a similar offer, which is do a favor and get your record scrubbed. Apparently that's not going to happen, and now we have a new offer. Do us a favor and get your record scrubbed. I think we better figure out what's going on here. So we can go ahead and... We just got out of surgery, but I guess we can use that. And we've got robots trying to kill us. Something was clearly gone wrong here. Well, maybe this robot was just trying to give us a, a fresh beverage. I doubt it. Alright, what do we got? We got more! More robots! And more robots! Ooh, okay. Who knew, uh... A future pipe would be so so powerful? Gonna make it for us, I'll take that. In fact, I may see how far I can get with just the pipe. That might be an interesting thing to try. That said, I'm still going to pick up weapons. That's a dart gun that we picked up. We can actually check it out a little bit if we go here and here. We can uh, unload it over here and see our ammo and all that stuff. Um, some weapons have like a little bit of a different UI here that you can play around with, but I haven't really had much of a chance to do that. Got a grenade just uh, casually in the med bay here. That's fine. And we got some, some energy here. Don't know exactly what that's for. Should also just uh, put our trusty pipe back on. That's fine. Okay. Oh. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. There we go. That doesn't look so good. Human corpse, you say? That looks. Uh, that looks pretty bad, actually. Just have to engage in a little casual vandalism here. We don't want anybody uh, tying this back to us, of course. Okay, we got another log file and another body. So I think it's fair to say things <laughs> have not gone according to plan here on Citadel Station. Or maybe they have. Maybe this is Diego's plan all along. Who can say? I imagine we're going to find out. 
eventually here. Um, what did I, what did I get? I got, uh, another log file here. Shutdown security is closing down on us. The elevators are frozen. Myra keeps saying that it's the cameras and the medical CPU core that Shodan's using these to hold onto the level. That's all fine, but I don't really see how it helps. The thing is everywhere. Okay, uh, I am going to do one other thing. And that's just, uh, I'll turn on the, the speech text here. Uh, it's different than what they say, and I'm not going to read it. But I don't know, maybe it'll be useful at some point. All right. Oh, we got an email from Shodan. Let's let's see what uh, Shodan has to say. Welcome back to Citadel Station. We hope your somnolent healing stage went well. Today is the sixth day of November, year 2072. You are currently in the healing suites located on the first level. Level two contains the research laboratories. Three houses the Department of Maintenance and the storage cells are on level four. The flight deck is on level five. Level six holds crew facilities and executive suites, and level seven is systems engineering. Level eight houses the Department of Security. The bridge is located on level nine, and energy systems on level R. All levels can be accessed by the elevator in, in, in Alpha Quadrant. We hope you have a pleasant stay on Citadel Station. Well, it sounds like Shodan is, isn't all that bad. I mean, that was quite the welcome. Let's go ahead and use this. We got the code from the note we left ourselves. All right. What do we got up here? Human skull, a little bit of uh, trash, a human arm, presumably. Severed limb, so in indecisive. Human bones, okay. Yeah, um, I think we may be in danger. I think it's fair to say. Make sure nobody's following us here. All right. First little puzzle here. So I have gone through this initial area a fair bit, so I kind of know what's going on here, but that will change uh, before too long, I promise you that. Okay, so this activates that. That is uh, an elevator. But before we go on that, let's check in here. Got more robots! Get him out of here. Looks like he tagged us a little bit there. Looks like he's trying to concoct a new uh, new type of beverage there. So here we have a group access card. And another log. Let's see what we've got here. Um, no, I've got to click over here. Logs from Stack. Gunther was killed today. I can't let myself think about it. I think I understand how Shodan is doing it. When we destroy the cameras and CPU nodes, Shodan loses some of its control over the station functions, at least on this level. I think I can restore manual control in the hospital. Okay, so that's a good reason to destroy the cameras, I would say. Just, you know, just in case Shodan may, maybe has gone a little bit rogue. <laughs> okay, so we've gone in there. Um, we've got a key card. I think that should open up this. Yeah, okay. And so here we have some ammunition for the dark gun. Stray soda. Another grenade. And human skulls. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. So let's never go back in there. Um, alright. I think what we could do is... Go, if we go down here, we can unload. And then reload. So now that's got max ammo in it. For whatever that's worth. Uh, like I said, I'm going to see how far I can get by just... Sticking with the, uh, the trusty old pipe here for a little while. Uh, why don't we try the elevator? Let's see where this... Oh, wait, hang on. There's a sneaky camera up here that we got to deal with. I don't really know what this is doing for us exactly, but I guess we'll find out in time. Oh, oh all right. Well, <laughs> I didn't want, didn't want to go back up. Um, excuse me, if I could please leave the elevator. There we go. 
Let's try that again. Okay, let's take a quick look up here. All right, I think we're, we're in the clear at the moment. So another stamina pack. I'm assuming that it maybe gives us energy back. And uh, another dark gun. I don't think we need like a lot of dark guns. So I'm just gonna take the ammo out of this one and then get rid of it. Is this, uh, I think this just lowers the elevator probably. Yeah, okay. well, <laughs> not really what I had in mind. There we go. All right. Yeah, some of the switches will turn lights on and stuff, which is, you know, kind of useful because we, we don't have a flashlight as far as I can tell. Oh, accidentally used the, the dart gun, run, run invalidated. Here we go. I don't think I actually hit him with it. I don't think I'm hitting this guy with it. There we go. Jeez. Okay, he's got nothing on him. Oh, Jesus. It's a mutant. Biological contamination. Indeed, he's got a berserk stim on him. I guess he was just munching on the skull back here, huh? It is awfully dark. In this area. See if we can fix that, maybe? Is there a... No. Let's switch there. There we go. Large button equals light switch, at least in this case. Uh, let's take a look down here and see what we got. Definitely got a corpse of some kind. Definitely looks very human in nature. Indeed it is. Looks like maybe a security officer. And then up here, we have... What do we have? We got med packs. Okay. Definitely going to want to stockpile as many of those as we can get. Although we should be able to run back run back to the um, the surgery bay there to replenish ourselves. Alright, I'm curious. So we, we got this up here. We can actually um, crouch. But we don't have to use that interface. We can just use regular old uh, controls here. But uh, it looks like we got spotted while I was messing around there. So yeah, I don't know if, I don't know if we can sneak or not. I'm sure he's still out on that one. Maybe a little bit. Okay, over here. We've got ourselves a grenade on the wall. I don't have a... Uh, a code for that, I don't think, so I'm just going to leave that alone. So not really much I can do with that at the moment, I don't think. Ooh. This is a grim sight. Things did not go well for people in here. Let's check these, I guess. Actually got a couple things here. Is there a light switch anywhere? Hang on, is there one? Oh, hang on. Yeah, there's a... Uh... Let's switch there, for the hallway at least, I guess. I don't see one for in here, though. So I guess we're just going to have to look carefully. Here we go. Spark Beam. Any Berserk Combat Booster. So the Spark is the only other weapon that I've seen running around and testing. You do a low or high energy settings. Beyond that, I don't really know much about how it works. I haven't really messed around with it. But we'll uh, just keep that in the old inventory for now. This person just has some trash, I think. Yeah. We'll just throw that on the floor. Broken gun. So yeah, it looks like these guys are security officers. I think that's like the, the Trioptimum logo there as well. Okay, skeletons, more bodies, Ozo, okay, and another group access card of some kind. I don't know if we can look at, like, the access cards that we have or not, though. Doesn't seem like we can, so I'm not sure what that goes to, but we got another, another log, so why don't we check, why don't we check that out real quick, yeah, if we click on that, we get, uh, this little compass at the top, which I guess is maybe useful. I don't know. I guess I'll leave it on. 
Uh, let's see what we got. So this this is from Ozar. We're finished. Keith and the others went down the access corridor an hour ago to fight the mutants. None of them have come back. Soon the mutants will come for the rest of us. I would say that her assessment uh, was accurate, yes. The mutants did in fact, presumably the mutants anyway, did in fact come for the rest of them. Resist. It didn't go so well for them, apparently. Ooh, okay. You know what? <laughs> Can the mutants use doors? I don't know. I would assume they must be able to, or otherwise how would they get in here? Let's try this door. Okay, this doesn't actually have anything in it. Except for a table, I guess. Can I, uh... Can I hide under this? Oh, I, I totally can. Well, I don't know about hiding, but I can definitely crawl under it to an extent. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the movement is fairly complex in this, because we can also lean side to side. Uh, which is pretty interesting. And then, of course, look up and down and all that. That's pretty standard stuff, though. All right, let's... See what's going on with these mutants in here. Okay, there's one. What do you got? You got nothing. I don't know if the mutants are ever gonna drop like critical items, so I feel like I gotta check them. Okay, nothing in the corner there. This guy actually hasn't. Oh no, I was gonna say this guy hadn't seen me yet, but I guess he has. Oh, hit a little bit there. See, I want to say. I don't, I don't know if there's, like, locational damage at all, but I want to say, on the higher difficulty, these guys would take, like, oh, where the frig did you come from? <laughs> you guys, he snuck up on me. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I don't know if these guys are ever going to drop critical items like keys, so I figure it's probably best if we just check them. You know what? Uh, we could go back. Well, here's what we'll do, yeah. Why don't we just save the game? I haven't tried that yet, so that seems like a good idea. All right, should the worst happen, we can uh, unleash our ultimate weapon, load game, and uh, continue on from here. So let's see about this other uh, log that we got here. From Kirby. Got the supplies from the West Wing. Hanson and Rain killed by mutants nesting the access corridor. We can't just hide here. They're killing us one by one. In an hour, about 20 of us are going to rush them. Go we'll fire break through the access port and then go for the bridge. If we fail, God save our souls. I don't know, can God hear you scream in space? Maybe. Probably? Oh, he must have come from around here, I guess. Hello? Oh, nobody in there. This looks a little suspicious. No? I think there are... I know for a fact there's hidden doors somewhere. Uh, I found one in, in my testing. Oh, hey, hang, hang on. There's a bunch of guys in there. Uh, I think... Uh, you know what? I think it's berserk time. Get him! Get him! Get him! <laughs> oh, we're getting shot. I, by something. I didn't even see what, what that was. Well, there you go. First death. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't even really see what killed me there. But let's just... Good thing we saved. Uh, we'll... Just continue from where we left off there. Alright, so first things first, grab this, and then we'll, uh... Just do that to make sure we've, uh, we've used that, and then let's... Let's try this again. Alright, first things first. Let's use... A med pack here. Maybe even use two. I don't think we want to use a bunch at once, because I think that will make one overwrite the other, rather than give us the full amount of healing that we would desire. 
Okay, I think that's all we're, we're going to get from the one. So there's another one. And we're going to get anything else? Doesn't seem like so. Actually, it seems like we get less HP. Oh, no, we're still going. Huh. Yeah, I, don't, I guess I don't really understand how they work <laughs> just yet. Uh, but okay, let's let's save again. Let's try this one more time. Let's use another Berserk pack. Let's see if we can figure out what actually killed us this time. Oh, the screen's going crazy. Oh, it's this guy. Okay. We'll look at what that was in a minute. Get him. Anybody else? Want a piece of this? The screen is going absolutely crazy. This is the way it's supposed to look, by the way. <laughs> it's not just uh, an artifact of, like, my graphics card or something like that. Um, if you play, play the game in something like DOSBox, you'll see that. Okay. An assassin cyborg. Well, he certainly succeeded on the first uh, attempt there. And assassinated us. Oh, good. Get a med pack refill there. Go there. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I actually didn't acknowledge it earlier, but, um, <laughs> seems like we've got a, a mining laser. Pointed toward the earth somehow, and uh, it's going to drill a hole into it. That doesn't seem very good. Why would somebody do that? That is what we will have to find out. Here we go. This, I think. Locked by Shodan level security. Okay, so I guess that is what the security cameras are for. Which actually, we should pay. Try to pay a little closer attention, because sometimes these cameras are in places where you won't see them, like in the one direction, but they're a lot easier to spot in the other. Um, because we want to blow them up as best we can. Just want to make sure I didn't miss one back here somewhere. You can also run, something I haven't really been doing too much. This is a little bit difficult to control. Oh yeah, see, there's one right there. I can hit it. Can I? There we go. <laughs> uh, okay, we should. Uh, I should actually save since we just since we just foiled that encounter. I couldn't tell if the cyborg was like going to try to fight the mutants or what, but it looked like kind of looked like everybody was pretty well honed in on on us at the, the time. Oh, hang on. It's a stun gun. Where did that come from? Heat, low, high. Okay, interesting. Got nothing else on you, though. I'm not sure why we would want to stun something instead of just smash it to bits, but... Perhaps we will find an answer eventually. Oh, yeah, there's another door there. Kind of seems like the doors have like a little bit of this blue out outline going on here. Okay, alright, so we... Probably want to go up that way, I guess. Oh, there's Shodan right there. Screen. Anything else over this way? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Well, except for the one skeleton there. All right. Well, let's mosey on over this way and see what we can find. Making pretty good progress exploring all this stuff here. This is Beta Quadrant, so I guess we must have been in Alpha previously? Oh yeah, okay. So I don't think I really want to go this way yet, although... Uh... That's, a, that's an elevator there. Oh, shit! <laughs> Kill him! Taking radiation damage here. Hang on. Anything good? He does have a med pack. I'll take that. Okay. So uh, we're taking a bunch of damage. That should go down. Beyond that, I don't really know what the deal is with uh, radiation poisoning. Um, yeah, and there's some kind of a puzzle here, but I, I don't want to mess with that right now. I want to finish exploring the area that we're already in as best we can here. So I think to do that, we just... Gotta get out of here. I checked this box, right? Yeah. I think we just gotta go back 
through uh, this way. Yeah, and let's... Uh, we don't need to go in there. Just need to go... The other way. Okay, so there's nothing in there. I already got that. So now we want to go through this way. Oh, there's an enemy there. Hiding in the shadows. Very sneaky. We, uh, we've taken quite a bit of damage there. Oh, and there's a camera there as well. All right, so we got to... Oh. Well, that doesn't look very good. I think we better use... Let's just use one of these. Just to try and keep ourselves topped off a bit. And uh, while we're healing, we'll see what this log file says, which I assume belonged to this person. Carl has come back from recon without Alan. He says they took Alan into a room marked Cyborg Conversion, and now he's a cyborg assassin. Carl marked the room with the word here before he ran. One of the technicians says we can just flip a switch and make the converter a surgery unit again. With only 12 of us left, though, it may be an academic point. Maybe someone else should have been leader. Ah, so did we just kill Alan <laughs> in the other room over here? Because that's the only cyborg assassin that I think we've seen. Because this guy was just a drone cyborg. So we should definitely find that room because we don't want to have to fight more cyborg assassins. That sounds bad. Also, there's a nice little bit of greenery here. Except for maybe uh, maybe this piece here, which is defying the, the laws of space and time right before my very eyes. I don't know about that piece. That seems suspicious, but the rest of it looks nice. Uh, okay, so I'm going to assume this is... Was Gro Grossman, was it, I think? Uh, well... The corpse has nothing. What about you? You've got some ammo. We've got ammo, but we have no traditional gun to use it in. Um, we should probably save. I think. Alright, so we have a ladder there. We have a log file there. What about this? Ah, okay, so we, we got access to this probably with... Well, I don't know. One of our group access cards. Ooh, hang on. This guy was just trying to see what time it was, but he had to die for his uh, transgressions. All right, in here, nothing. In here, nothing. In here, a bit of ammunition. We'll take that for sure. I think. Oh, and then there's a worker helmet. So we can't actually use this. There's no, like, equipment to wear, as far as I know, in the game. So, I don't know. I guess we'll just... Put that back on the ground. But yeah, oh, hang on. Give me that. Um, yeah, we can actually move stuff around. So, to try, like, we stop bouncing off this for like a second. I think we can move this, I, I believe. A little bit, kind of. <laughs> I think we need to get a better angle on it, maybe. Oh, the body might be in the way. Yeah, that's probably what's going on. That body is uh, blocking the the thing. But I think we can jump on this. Maybe if we uh, move one of these other ones over. Like so. Or just do a little something like that. Maybe we can climb up. Sort of. <laughs> it's pretty janky. i got to be honest. But I think it's possible. There we go, that actually helps a little bit. I think we just needed a little bit more, a little bit more oomph. We've, uh, again, broken the laws of, of space and time and physics and <laughs> pushed the box into the body itself. I think we should be able to... Oh, we don't seem to have very much in the way of ups. But if we uh, get enough speed, we can kind of <laughs> get up here. Fatigue level's high, so yeah, you can't see that on this screen, but... If we go back to this one, we've got, like, these bars. I don't know what they all mean, but I think one of them's fatigue. And one of them's, like, contamination or something. But kind of lose those in this full screen mode. But hey, we made it up here. That's a dead mutant. All right. Another thing we can do, actually, that I forgot about is... uh. 
break stuff. In fact, I think I might have just hurt myself because it looked like that blew up. Uh, so yeah, gotta be a little bit careful. Skeleton there. All right, so what's what's next? I think we gotta go this way a little bit. Oh, hang on, there's a robot there. Ugh, I want him to come over this way a bit. We should be able to take him out. Um, why don't we just use one of these just to be safe here? I don't know if there's anything else over there though. Oh, he did come this way. Good. As you say, I don't know if there's any other enemies over that way. Okay. This guy's got Teflon rounds. I don't know what the difference is between those and regular rounds, if I'm being honest. Okay. Alright, so what does this log file say here? Keep clicking the wrong thing. This one's from blank. The resistance faction led by Keith Swanson left a week ago. We found the mutants fighting over the remains this morning. We're caught between the mutants and the cyborgs, so I'm worried whether we can carry out Darcy's plan. We're going to send Ellen and Carl through the cyborg territory to reach the elevator. Okay, so we heard about what happened to Alan. Carl maybe is still alive? We're not sure. Um, and Darcy is the person that we're looking for right now regarding like the mining laser situation, if I recall. Okay, you got nothing. Uh, we were already in there. Which leaves... This area here. Oh, I can see this guy. It's going to give us a hard time. Okay, let's, I think we better use... Another one of those, because we're about to be super contaminated here. Where's his body? Can't, can't see. Oh, there we go. Alright, so there's that. Uh, there's a body here with a little bit more stuff. There's a body here with a hat. We don't care about that. Okay, I think that's everything in here. Let's get out of here before we take too much poison damage here, radiation damage. Uh, okay, well, let's look at... Uh, this other log that we just picked up. Oh, this is gross again. So maybe that other body wasn't gross. Or Grossman, rather. Now we've got to get to the bridge and stop Showdown. Some of us want to go to the flight deck and escape instead. Hopefully, there's still some weapons in the armory we can use against the mutants. Todd Blankenship was able to get the combination 705 from a security officer. We're going to try for it tomorrow. Okay, so I think that goes to that room with the grenade on it that we found earlier. Uh, for now, though, we're not going to worry about that. Let's see, this does... That just lowers that whole thing. I don't know what that does for me. So I'm going to send that back up. <laughs> and that's Beta Quadrant as well. I thought we kind of already went that way. But I guess not. We go this way. This is Delta. Oh, okay, hang on. Gun is no match for lead pipe, you fool. Okay, so we should actually, I recognize this place a bit. We should be pretty close to, to we deal with these guys anyway. We should be pretty close to, um, where we start. Okay. Pretty banged up, but I think I think we're good. Okay. There's a couple other rooms out in this direction. So I think this is the place that we left ourselves a note about. Okay, still got one guy there. And that's a light switch. Okay. Sometimes this guy comes out and investigates, like, right as you're leaving the initial room. But I guess not this time. And the, the loot seems to be a little bit randomized as well. Uh, some of it, anyway. Stay away. I will not, because I would really enjoy some healing right about now. And yeah, this is, uh, this is where we began our little adventure. By the way, does that... Does that look like Kevin Nealon a little bit to you? Maybe? Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway. Oh, hang on. I was not expecting company. Very well. No items, though, but we can at least 
get a nice heal here. Okay, I think that'll do it for this time, with the exception of uh, talking about some uh, some technical stuff for folks who are interested. Um, and just in some stuff in general, I guess. Um, so yeah, we are playing on a, on a real actual MS-DOS PC running uh, MS-DOS 6.22. It's a Pentium 3 based PC and I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and put the specs up on the screen here. Uh, the entire game is rendered in software, which is why we need a fairly powerful system. And even with uh, a very late generation Pentium 3 processor, it's still not perfectly smooth. But it's pretty good, pretty close. In fact, this performance, in some ways, is uh, a little bit better than what I was even seeing in, like, DOSBox, personally. Uh, so that's an interesting <laughs> little twist, uh, I guess. Aside from that, uh, yeah, we've got, got an ATI, an old ATI Rage card for the graphics, but that doesn't really matter as far as a smooth frame rate goes. It's it's just uh, kind of what I had laying around, and it seems to be compatible with the game just fine. Uh, and then for a sound card, I've actually got a, a, a sound card with a Yamaha-based uh, chipset, which does sound pretty good by itself, but uh, not quite right, I felt like, for some of the music in this game. So we're using a, a Roland SC55 instead for the music, and then the Yamaha is basically giving us, like, Sound Blaster Pro compatibility, I think, for uh, for all the voices and sound effects and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, it's actually uh, in the readme for the sound card. It says that it was tested for this game, albeit in in Windows ninety eight, I think. Um, so it was tested in like a DOS box for Windows ninety eight. It's actually a little it was a little bit tough to get that card running in, in a pure DOS sense, so I can't necessarily recommend it for that, but it should work pretty well for, for a, uh, an old Windows-based machine. Uh, and beyond that, um, yeah, I, uh, the reason, oh yeah, so yeah, the reason that I'm not going to be using the full map is because the capture card I have seems to do a pretty good job for the most part with the game, but as soon as I go to full screen here, there's a resolution switch, because we're playing at 640 by 480 and I think this is still at 320 by 200, uh, and that just, that makes the card this particular capture card freak out, as you can see on the screen a little bit, um, right there. Looks like it fixed itself this time, but it doesn't always do that. So, uh, yeah, it's just, um, for, for my sanity and, you know, not having like half a recording get ruined, uh, you know, that I don't notice, we'll, we'll try to avoid using the full map. This should give us a pretty good view anyway. So, I'm not too worried about it. It's also a side view here. Shows us what level we're on. But, uh, anyway, yeah, I think that'll do it for our uh, inaugural little excursion into Citadel Station here. We've got some problems to solve. We've got a, got a mining laser and uh, perhaps a uh, an AI on the loose that doesn't seem to have our best interests at heart. Uh, so when we come back, I guess we'll continue exploring level uh, 9, I, or level 1, I guess. Um... And yeah, we'll see if we can make our way up to wherever we need to be. We still need to find Darcy and uh, figure out how we're going to actually handle the mining laser and everything else.